I'm just small to roll. <clears throat> With your amazing friend Lauren. Okay. So nice to see you guys here today. Yes, it is. Ah, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I love my candle here. Isn't it so pretty? It's not really the candle, that's the thing. It's the outside of it. Look at this. Ay, 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 black candle. I always have one lit somewhere in the background. Keep away negative energy. Yes, it just pours with love, okay? okay? Hi, everyone. How are you doing, my loves? Okay, so today's going to be a uh, Taurus. What is their karma for hurting you? What are they facing at this time? We're going to ask spirit guys to bring it out here. And they're going to bring it out just right. I went to Target and looking for candles. I'm a candle freak, you guys. I like, I'm telling you, I just, you can never have a more than enough candles. People are like, well, if you really are gifted, you don't need. No, it's not that I need. I want this. I like the ambiance. Is that what they call that? You know, that, that, that vibe. Okay. I like the little candle lid. Okay. It's cute. I got a little green here, you know what I'm saying? Not weed, but you know. <laughs> Just from a little earthy, earthy tones. Anyway, I went to Target and I got a candle and then I saw this. Look at that, guys. The Persistent Bull, Rolling Planet Venus, Green Fig, and Rosemary. Freaking gorgeous, man. And the thing, the, you know what I love is that when this is done, Burning out, I'm keeping this container like nobody's business. I know it's all oily and fingerprints because I let my daughter pick it out, but she's not, you know. I'm gonna leave that right there just so y'all can see it. So it'll be like, hey. See, though, what I love about it is it's black on the outside and then it's like, you know, it's a white candle. So, what's good, Taurus? What you guys been up to? Did y'all have a good weekend, Taurus? I hope so. I really hope so. I saw somebody put in my other, um, one of my videos, they were like, I want to know their karma and stuff, and I was like, you know, okay. I haven't done one of those in a minute. But Taurus, this is the person that's hurt you. What is their karma for hurting you? Thank you if you're just joining the channel, okay? I appreciate you joining Just Small Tarot. This is Lauren, okay? L-A-U-R-E-N. And this is going to be about the person that's hurt you. If you have not already, be so comfortable to go on ahead and subscribe to the channel, okay? I would love to have you. I would love to have you a part of my life, okay? I love my subscribers. I really do. So I do appreciate you guys being here, okay? Taurus, okay? You know, I'm, I'm almost inclined not to only burn that when I have... Well, you know what? I just might have burn it when I do my Taurus readings. That's what I'm going to do, if I do personal reasons, I'll be burning that too for a Taurus. Some of you give me your birthday, which is awesome. I love it a lot. Oh, your third eye is open, Taurus. Your third eye is open. You have clarity now on the situation. No more thinking and, and lingering around like, oh, is this or is this isn't or, you know, I don't know. Yeah, you know, Taurus. You know. And you know what's funny is that somebody doesn't want you to know. Somebody doesn't want you. Yeah, look, son, at the bottom of the deck, strength, empowerment. Somebody doesn't want you having this. See, now that you have this clarity, now you're empowered. You've been empowered to know who you are, what you possess, what kind of what kind of blessings you would you have, Taurus, what you have to offer. Okay? Because before somebody made sure that you were in the dark about it. They didn't want you to know. Yeah, they make you feel lack and doubt. That's what they did. And they were really good at it, too. They knew how to play that role to make you feel as if you were just not worthy enough. If you have somebody wanted to do something with you, Taurus. So what's their karma, Taurus? Them wanting you so damn bad. That's what the hell this is. You can feel it already. Because you done opened up your eyes now. You done seen something for what it is. Seen something, someone, someplace. Whatever you want to call it, Taurus. Yeah, see, somebody wants to message you so damn bad. And I mean bad. Spirit, what is this? Yeah, somebody wants a reunion with you. They feel that you guys, maybe you and this person have a soul tie, Taurus, okay? Maybe you guys do, okay? But let me tell you something. This third eye, okay, that you have open now is giving you clarity, okay, of just who you really are. 
and it's also opened up somebody else's mind, okay? I don't think they have as much as sharp clarity as you do, but I believe that this person really does want to talk to you. It could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I call it, this is the Ace of Water. I call this the Ace of Cups in this deck. <laughs> somebody wants to let you know that they're in love with you, Taurus, okay? What's their karma? Hmm, we're about to find out. Yeah, but their ego's in the way. Vanity and pride, Taurus. You have somebody that's just like, you know, too too good, too good, too prideful. And that's the thing. Love and pride don't go together. Love and ego don't go together. If you got too much of it, you can just kill a relationship quickly. Isolation, thoughts. Yeah, somebody's isolated. Somebody's thinking about you quite often, Taurus, okay? Yeah, but then you have the help of your spirit guides. You have assistance that's around you, Taurus. Be very mindful of what this reunion is about because the third eye being here at the very beginning of this row is just giving me something to kind of look at here, okay? You might come to the realization that somebody wants to reunite with you because they love or care about you, but towards their their, their pride and their ego and things, and, 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 and that keeps them isolated or it keeps you in a, in a state of frame and a mind that's like, you know, oh, I can't. They, they, their, their ego and shit puts you in lack. It puts you in a lot of doubt. It puts you inside your head a lot. So be very aware. I don't know why this this vanity and pride with this isolating. I, I think this person, their ego feels more of having to isolate you from other people because that's the way they feel they can have more control over you. I don't know. That's why I said be very careful. Somebody does want to reunite with you, Taurus. They do. They do want to reunite with you. But I'm just not getting that lovey-dovey shit vibes. I'm not getting that. I'm getting somebody that's wanting to reunite. For the simple fact that they know how much that you do love them. Now that your eyes are open, you're seeing just how much this person really is about. You see them for who they are. Okay, Taurus? And you have no problem, um, you know, could be dealing with an air sign. Don't have to be. But you don't really have a problem, Taurus, with, um... You really don't have a problem, Taurus, with knowing who you're, what your worth is now, okay? See, you might have soul ties with somebody. In fact, Taurus, this person, this is somebody, okay. This is somebody, Taurus, that you used to be very, very, very in love with. You used to be so in love with this person that it would kick your butt, okay? Literally, it would. But this person's, this person's ego would always have you in your head. They always had to have their ego stroked, okay? They always had to have it stroked. It doesn't matter who it was or what it was. You try to figure out for a long time, why do I always have to put, why, why does this person always gotta have fine stuff in elsewhere? Why do I gotta boost their ego and they leave me like this? You know, they're over there looking at themselves in the mirror and shit, thinking they all that, but they're leaving you here with your head, you know, thinking you're thinking too much. Okay, yeah, confusion and illusions. That's what this person brings to you, Taurus. And they still are willing to bring this to you. That's why I said, this, this, I see this as Ace of Cups. That's me personally as a reader. But I don't feel like it's that Ace of Cups, that, that renewed, fresh, real love, real thing coming through. I think somebody's seeing that your eyes open, you're clear about them. They want to reunite, okay? All soul ties are not good soul ties. Some of them are not very great. I feel this one is a little bit uh, not so good. I think this is more like a, it's a toxic soul tie. I feel that it is. And somebody likes to play on your emotions because their damn ego. And then it puts you in your head. Okay? And right here, that's what popped out. Confusion. Illusions. The rose-colored glasses. Okay? Not seeing things for what they truly are. But I believe, Taurus, that you're starting to. I believe that you're starting to. I'm going to put this right over the Ace of Cups. Because this is what this person wants you to believe. They want you to believe that they've changed. They've done some things right. Or, you know, they, they don't change some things about them. They want you to believe in them. They want you to be back with them. They want to do whatever it takes towards to get back into your good graces. But this person still has a big-ass ego. And it's not going to go nowhere. No time soon. This person still carries that. Okay, look, we've got the Taurus, we got the Taurus uh, candle lit. All right? And right there between the candles is the third eye and soul ties. You're clear now about a soul tie connection that you had with someone that was pretty toxic. Pretty fucking toxic, if you ask me. But hey, Taurus, you know, that's neither here nor there. That's you. That's you. Okay? But I just hope that you're realizing for the person that you truly are, Taurus. The great person that you truly are. What you have to accomplish in this life. What you can accomplish. That you are worthy of love. You are worthy of being around. You are worthy of, of being uh, uh, cherished and loved and cared for. Because somebody here just wasn't doing it. Somebody liked to feed you a lot of illusions. And it caused you so much confusion. You thought this person was the love of your life. They probably were Taurus at one point, but this soul tie is not healthy. I don't feel like it is. I feel like this is a tie that just, 
keep somebody going but you know you you boost this person's ego you do very much so Taurus um and right now they're not getting that that attention so they need to they want to put you up in your head again this person misses doing that I have to tell you the honest truth what I'm seeing here what I feel okay dream on dream away I think I'm gonna have to stay forever forever and ever if I heard that song I don't know why that just came out but my little candle thing here says dream okay so I'm thinking in my head hmm dream mm -hmm. somebody likes to sell you dreams I'm looking at this as the dream right here this 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 candle holder I have with confusion in this water it's a lot of emotions somebody likes to confuse your emotions okay they like to kind of ruffle up the they like they, they like they like the conflict that comes with this they like the the chaos they're having you in your head you know they want to reunite they want to bring this back together okay and don't get excited oh yeah they want to reunite with me yeah of course they do Taurus but this is because they want something it's because they want something. They miss something that you provided. See, this person ran off. The ego got to the best of them. You know, they have to look good. They got to feel good. They got to head this. Da -da 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 you put this person's head. You made it so big it can't fit through a fucking doorway. Okay? And then it would leave you in your head. It would leave you in your big ass head, Taurus. Okay? <laughs> I love you guys. It would leave you kind of thinking, like, what the fuck has happened? Like, you know, this person was all on me. And now they don't, you know, now now they they with they out there with somebody else, they doing something else, or why are they acting like the Taurus, get out of these illusions. Somebody likes to be up all up in your emotions and your cup. They like to be up in that back that, that cup that you give them. Okay? That cup that you keep handing to this person is nothing but confusion. Okay? This they they fill it up with confusion and illusions, and you sitting there drowning. You sitting there trying to figure out how the hell am I gonna get out of this now? And I don't see this as really cute. Some of you probably like, oh, look at that. No, no, Taurus. I love you guys. And you know that's what you come here for. You come for the absolute truth, and I'm going to give it to you. This person's going to have to face some karma with their playing ass ways. Yep, they don't have to. They want to come out of the cold with you so bad, Taurus, they can taste it. But it's not for the right reasons, Taurus. See, they don't want to come out of the cold for the right reasons. They don't want to come out because they actually see, man, you know. Taurus is somebody that I really do value and cherish. No, the person values and cherishes you now because they see there's nobody else they can do like this. See, they don't went to they they didn't they didn't they didn't took their time to look through the kitty litter, and they couldn't find they couldn't find nothing inside of it. They couldn't find nothing in there, so they're looking back to you for something, Taurus. You always gotta make sure you ask when someone has that big old huge ego, okay, and someone don't have the uh the uh, the cojones. To apologize, okay? Or to say they've done something wrong. What is it that's, what is that saying about their character, Taurus? You gotta really ask yourself that. Because somebody that's just too prideful to say, I'm sorry I fucked up, or, you know, to be, I mean, genuine sorries. I'm not talking about something just to get you to get off of that subject and go on about your life. No. I'm talking about somebody that really does give a fuck about how they treat your heart, how they care for it, okay? When you're stable, do they like it? Do they want to be a part of you being stable? Or do they want to come around and just uh, ruffle your feathers like I said before? This to me feels awkward. I don't like this energy. I don't. Spirit, what is this uh, soul ties right here? This reunion soul ties. Give us one card, Spirit. Reunion soul ties. Did I just get a card that flipped? No. Okay. thought I did. <laughs> okay. Well, let me make sure y'all just... <laughs> I felt a card. Okay. Well, if you're wondering what was underneath that card that I thought flipped, it was the Six of Cups. It was the Six of Cups in the reverse. And we got the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. You no longer wanting to put in into the situation. You seeing your worth. You not no longer sitting around and waiting for something to come. You know, in the upright, the Seven of Pentacles is like waiting. It's like waiting for your, not for your shift to come in, but waiting for stuff to grow. Waiting for the fruit to come out upon the tree you planted. Well, in the reverse, it's like I'm not, no, I'm no longer waiting. I'm no longer putting anything into this. That's why this person wants to reunite with you. Okay? Because they see you in this energy. They see you not giving a fuck. You're not doing too much or nothing with this person, Taurus. Okay? So the ones I'm reading for, if this is, if this is you and you with the person, if you back with the person, y'all good? Why are you here? Don't come here. Okay, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just being honest. Like, why would you come to a reading if shit was tip-top shape? 
No, this is this person's karma. You no longer investing in this type of soul tie, and this toxic ass soul tie. I feel it, Taurus. And can't nobody tell me different. I feel it. Thank you, Spirit. I feel it. You're not investing in it no more, Taurus. And there's a reason for that. So always, always, always remember when something like this keeps coming up, there's something that needs to be focused on. And I don't mean this person. This person wants your attention badly, too. I'm getting that also. They're, 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 yeah, look at the bottom of the deck. Could be done with the Pisces, okay? They're stuck. They don't know what to do, Taurus. This person can't move on without you. They can't be with you, and they can't be without you. When this person was with you, they didn't know what to do with you. They didn't know how to treat you. They didn't know how to care for you. Now that they're not with you, they're sad. They're upset, you know? So, uh, it's, it's like a lost cause to me. I just don't get it. I just, this energy just, it's all over the place. I feel this person needs to be by themselves. This person doesn't know how to be alone. They have to be around all kinds of people. Okay, Taurus, this is what used to have you all up in your head. You want to you figure out everything I do for this person. All the love I give, all the love and care and support, kindness and caring and nurturing. And this person always finds a way to make sure they're not, with, they're not around me, but they leave me like this. They leave me feeling like I'm lacking something. Taurus, no, no. Let's get one for the illusion, spirit. Confusion and illusions. What do we have here, spirit, for this? Confusion and illusions. And ace of water. Yeah, see? This person is insecure as fuck. They're insecure, they're insecure within themselves, so they got to make sure that you feel the same way, Taurus, okay? They got to make sure you feel what they be feeling. So they put you inside this doubt, and they like to get up in your, and they like to get all up in your emotions, all right? They like to get all up in your emotions, Taurus. They like to confuse you. And it does nothing. It does just that. It confuses you. It has you, like, what the fuck? Like, this guy's looking, like, really, like, did that just happen? Did she just give me top and then just leave? What what I kind of wanted to talk a bit. Like, you know, or girl. Same thing, females. Okay, you don't have to be just a dude. No, 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 no. Don't do gender on this channel. But somebody here is very insecure. Towards this person's karma, okay, is you not investing any more in them. You going on, you opening up your third eye and seeing shit for what the hell it is. And you know what? To many of you, you may feel like, well, damn, that's not really bad karma. Yes, it is to this person because they lost somebody stable. This is a loss for somebody here. They played so many mind games. They were more in the mirror than they were in your DMs or inside your text messages or in your face. Okay? They was always trying to impress someone else. They was always looking for the greener, the greener part, the greener pastures when it was right there in front of them. This person doesn't like to water and nurture their yard. They like to... Uh, start a project, like start a whole, okay, I'm going to start this big old huge garden and I'm gonna put this and that there and then with that. And then they start, they dig up one hole and then they go off and they see something else and they start another project somewhere else. They don't like to sit around and, and wait and wait for things. This person's very impatient. They don't wait. They don't wait for things to come about. So um, you no longer investing in this is causing this person to want to reunite, wanting them to come towards you faster, quicker, and heavier. Okay, Taurus? Yeah. Thank you, Spirit. This person is so Taurus. This person's confused as to why you have not come back. In fact, you not coming back, you not expressing this ace of water, this ace of cups type of love that you used to give this person so that they can in return confuse you and give you illusions is making them feel so insecure. You could probably see it or talking to other people and they can see it and it makes them feel more and more and more weak. Okay? It makes them more and more weak because they need that validation from you, okay? They would put it on to you like you was not important enough. Taurus, you're more than important. You're a very, very stable, motivational person, okay? And this person is seeing that a little too late. Like they see that, but I still feel here, Taurus, a bit that though this person realizes it, I just don't think that they're jumping out to change. I just don't see that. I don't feel that here. I think your eye, you're, you're starting to connect with spirit guides. You're starting to accept their assistance to help you throughout this journey, okay? Because you need to see things for what they are, not what you want them to be. When you sit there seeing something for what it is, and, and that's how I am. I love the truth. I do. A lot of people say it's a hard pill to swallow. It could be bitter sometimes, but wouldn't you rather know instead of just trying to paint a picture like a lump of coal and you try to paint it pink with rainbows and shit? It's still a lump of coal. All you do is throw paint on it. And eventually, that paint's going to rinse off or fall off the the. the coal and it's going to be still coal it's not going to be anything you trying to paint something that's not there it, it, it's not it, it's still what it is okay so don't paint a picture that's what i feel here that for a while taurus you weren't open to seeing what things really were here 
you didn't want to believe it. I think you had a feeling. I think your guys was trying to connect with you and you were just like, no, I don't see that. You know, like, and that's okay, Taurus. You know, I, I, I'm just glad that you're, most of you are on the, on the road to recovery. And I mean, it's been a long road for many of you. It's been a long road because when we give people our hearts, when we fall in love, a lot of us fall in love, okay? We fall in love with the person, but we forget that one thing, ourselves. We forget that one important thing, ourselves. You would think that would be the one thing we go for first. No. We want to please others. We want to make sure everybody else is comfortable. We want to make sure that people are, you know, they understand that we got their back. You know, we want to be there for them. But this person ran the fuck over you. This is what they did. You come with all this love and compassion and nurturing. And this person started seeing you as a dumping, a dumping ground for burdens. Like for all their bullshit, they would come and dump it right on you because they couldn't, they couldn't carry it themselves. They couldn't look in the mirror and see things for what they were. This person has low vibes. They don't want to do nothing different, Taurus. They like to stick around you because they need you to replenish them. They can't replenish themselves. You don't see them doing that. And if they do, it's with them replenishing something called a drink down their throat. Okay? I, was, I feel like there's somebody drinks a lot and they think a lot. They do that a lot here. Someone's just... This ace of water with this confusion and this strength in reverse just makes me think of them drinking, confused, and insecure. They miss you. They miss being around your emotions, sending you confusion in return, and making you feel insecure. Like, this is what this person wants to reunite. They, they, they miss this toxic-ass shit. They do. They do. And you know what's sad, Taurus? You would think, I'm the toxic one. No, Taurus. Whoever you're dealing with, Okay, this could be flipped around. The rules can be reversed. But whoever you're dealing with, they feel like they're that you're the toxic one. They feel like they need to point the blame at you. Well, Taurus made me do this. Taurus did that. Taurus, open up that third motherfucking eye and see what's going on here, okay? Open up that eye, that third eye. There's a reason why this person is going through what they're going through, okay? And I feel this person right now is isolated with their thoughts. I don't think they're even paying attention to anything. But guess what? Their ego and pride is not going to show you that. They're not. That's how prideful they are. This person rather die before they say anything of what they truly feel because they're so prideful. Who wants to be around a grown-ass person that can't, that has vocal, that has a mouth, a throat chakra, and won't even dare to open it? That wants to play mind games, though. Instead, they would want to play mind games. Okay? They would want to play mind games. Look at the bottom of the deck. Eight of Cups. Either you walked away or this person walked away from you. Well, whoever walked away doesn't matter. That's not the point here. Somebody's wanting this to come back around. That's what they're wanting. Okay? They 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 they, they see you're not investing. They're so low so low about themselves. They don't even they feel confused. Like where did I go wrong? I thought my mind games was supposed to work. I thought my big fucking ego was supposed to keep this person up in their head. No Taurus. It put you up in your head. It catapulted you into healness and greatness. That's what the fuck it did. It made you realize, look, this is who I am. This person don't even know. All this confusion they wanted to cause you with these rose-colored glasses and shit, they was actually putting the motherfuckers on to fit for themselves. Because they, 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 they still, they, they still confused as why you're not around. Okay, this person believes, oh, we meant to be together. You, you my soulmate, you know. And, and that might be fine and all, but not every soulmate's supposed to stay. Look, but they slow ass. That's what they are. They was too damn slow to come bring in an in a, in a offer. Okay? And so now they want to come. They, they slowly... But surely, Taurus, they're going to come back around to you, okay? This person's coming back, okay? Believe it or not, I don't give a damn what you're doing, Taurus. This person doesn't care. They just want to make sure that you don't have the ability to share your beautiful empress energy and your beauty with anyone else but them. They feel like you're, you're theirs. They feel entitled to you, your emotions, your money, your everything. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you start dating... Um, any celebrity or anything, this person will still be like, ah, uh, they minds. I don't, if you're in a healthy relationship or something, Taurus, no, this person will still say, no, I hope that person understands that that's, that, that Taurus is mine. This person, that's how they validate that. Taurus, get out of this. And look at this. Look at this. The seven, I was just about to flip. The seven of, cup, of swords in the reverse and then the tower. Okay. Taurus, this this is somebody somebody here. The the shit's coming to the shit's hitting the fan. Somebody here is starting to see, man. Yeah. They're climbing, Taurus. They ain't gonna find nobody like you. 
You would think that's not a big deal. Yep, look at that. Spirit says, congratulations, Taurus, on closing out a toxic-ass cycle. A hard road, I said at the beginning. I said, y'all been through some a hard road here. Yeah, you using your intuition and closing something out, Taurus, before you wouldn't listen to it. You knew something was there in your in your gut telling you, but you are like, no, nah, that just might be me because this person will call you crazy. They will, well, where's the proof? Or where's the proof? Or where's that? Where's that? Like, how do you know? Who told you that? Yeah, no, nah, motherfucker, my intuition told me, and that's good enough. Taurus, you're starting to trust yourself. Continue to keep going down that path of trusting your inner gut, okay? Always trust that motherfucker because it works. It is an actual guide. It teaches you and it guides you. Your angels, your ancestors, everybody's with you on this. So you need to make sure you start trusting yourself. Because this person made sure in the past that you did not trust yourself. Because why? They can't trust themselves with a grain of salt. They don't know what decisions they're making. This person's not as smart as they want you to think they are, Taurus. They're not. Why? How do I know? Because they lost you. I mean, clearly. It's just... It's just Clearly, look at that. And I, I'm going to tell you right now, Taurus, that's not your problem. This is not your problem. This person wants to make it your problem, but you have free will. It does not have to be your problem unless you want to take on more burdens. If you still want to be opened up to being the dumping ground of burdens, hey, go for, go right on ahead because this person's ready for you. They're ready to dump more on you. They're ready to give you more and more and more and more and more. The more you gave this person, the less they gave. They wouldn't give much of anything. What? Vagina? Penis? Okay. I saw three of them walking today. And what do I do? Jump for joy? No. So many people have them. Yours is no different. Okay? Yours is no different. I don't give a damn about, oh, the chemistry and the sex. And that. Yeah. But at the same time, this person was trying to put illusions and shit into your mind. Okay? They were Taurus. They were. And I don't think that they, and I don't think that they were just, at the time they were doing it to be evil, evil. I think what they were doing was they are trying to do something here and do something with you and to keep those together. It feels to me like this person kind of likes uh, group sexes, sex and things like that, or to go from here to there. They want to be free, but they don't want you to be free. That, that's just what I, I, yuck. Okay, vanity and pride, spirit. Ego, vanity, and pride. What is this ego, vanity, and pride? Yeah. Too prideful to say, look, I want this. I want us to be stable. I miss you being stable for me, Taurus. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. this is their karma. Watching you be happy because they didn't want they, they didn't want to speak up when they should have. Instead, they treated you like trash because they were not feeling great about themselves. Look at this girl in the mirror. She can't believe it. She's like, am I pretty or am I not? Am I am or not? No, I don't think I am. This person didn't do what I, exactly what I wanted them to do today. So I believe that I'm just not as cute as I was the other day. This person's awkward, Taurus. You need to be happy you got away. Okay, for those that have gotten away, congratulations. This is what you need to do. Because this is a toxic-ass soul tie. It is. And I feel it right now. Just like, it's overwhelming. It's kind of making my chest kind of like tight. Like just anxiety. Like, you know, and this, this ain't my energy. Unfortunately, no, it's not. At the bottom of the deck, we got the Queen of Co sword, uh, Swords in the reverse. Somebody that's just cutting with their word. They don't care. They 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 pop up at the mouth, but they know who to pop the mouth off to and who not to. Yeah, I'm gonna say this. Here. I don't give a fuck what this is right here. They know who just that they know who to say what the fuck they say, and then not then they know how to shut that motherfucker up to the right person. Okay, so don't don't let this person uh. <laughs> <laughs> make you feel like Taurus they big and bad because they're not. Again, they would still have you if they were. This person is not as smart as you You would think they, they would want to they lead you to believe. Unfortunately, Taurus, y'all can think down me all you want because I'm talking about this person like that. This is what I'm truly feeling here. This person's ego and their pride is so big they're watching you be happy. They're watching you be stable. They're watching you go into another chapter of your life after all this shit if you don't became clear about not investing into some soul tie reunion bullshit, you might have known this person around the beach. Okay, y'all went to the beach a lot. That was something y'all probably like to do. Y'all probably grew up around in the island. I'm mean, shit. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be. But what I'm saying here is that this person sees you're no longer investing those times with them. See, somebody keeps thinking about times. They go. They keep going back. They keep going back. But this person will flush you with illusions and confusion, and then it would end up making you feel less than. No, Taurus. Now this person is in, can, they send up all their feelings confused with illusions and shit. This person will not take these rose colored glasses. In fact, they don't have three other pairs of motherfuckers on at once. 
They seeing thick ass red. They ain't seeing no, they ain't seeing nothing else. This person is so insecure. They want you badly. And they feel that the only way they can feel better is if you're around. This person does not really care about themselves, Taurus. They don't know how. They see you glowing up. They see you doing better. They see you stop investing in them. They're like, uh, -uh no, Taurus didn't. I'm the bomb. I'm the da -da -da. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're just like you. You're just like any you're just like me. You're just like anybody else that's walking around, okay? You have feelings too, and you know it. You don't like to be in touch with the motherfuckers, but look what it's costing there. Costing ooh, see, there could be many males here that are dealing with a hurt. Him, her, okay? Whoever this person is to you, Taurus, it's gonna resonate different from everybody. But their karma is you no longer investing, them feeling sad for themselves, them feeling more insecure than ever the way they used to make you feel. They would tear you down limb from limb. Just to watch you cringe. And they liked it. This is this is sick. I don't I just don't like this energy. I don't. Ugh. Don with the flex. Okay. The ego and pride though, they watching you be happy because they was too prideful to tell you how much they messed up. You know, I miss you. Um, you know, I and I really do believe, Taurus, that many of you, this person came back saying those words, you'd be like, the fuck do you want like really like you'd really like really ask yourself what is this now like haven't you done enough that's what i feel like i feel like taurus you would mm -hmm. somebody who will let you go they see you working in your power they see your spirit guides is working with you too what is this thoughts and isolation spirit what is this thoughts and isolation what's this thoughts thoughts isolating what is this spirit? What is this thoughts and isolation for Taurus? Yeah, this person wants to keep playing mind fucks, but they're getting them themselves now, Taurus. This is their karma, okay? Mind games being played here, big ass time. Like I told you, you would be all up in your emotions. They confuse you. They throw so much shit, and then they would turn right around and throw illusions. Confusion, illusions, confusion, meaning that they would sit there. Um, you know, painting that there's this pretty picture that they done said, and you're like, man, I love it. One thing you do messed up, they just turn that, they flip the switch, and they try to put you, they try to tear you down. And you're confused. You're like, the fuck is going on here? And it keeps you up in your head because this person, their ego won't let them do anything else. They gotta have control over your thoughts, Taurus. They do. This person has to be in control of what you feel when they met, when they decide to message you, and when they decide to talk to you, Taurus. Too much. Too much. Look at this. Having this, and these people, these people, are like, man, fuck it. I'm not going to play this more. No, 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 no. That's what it would have you in the Five of Swords energy, Taurus. When in actuality, this person is really jealous of you. They're really jealous of you, but you're releasing this, Taurus. We've had the world card in the upright, the devil in the reverse. You're releasing this toxicity, and it's a damn about time. It's it's about time, Taurus. Somebody's. I know it's still like the ending. Some of, you, some of you are just beginning this understanding. And a lot of you are starting to just finish out. Just be like, I'm completely going to move forward. Because this person has nothing but burdens to offer. Grief and words and illusions and dreams. They like to sell them. Okay, they like to sell. Let's sell, sell, sell. No, no, no. It's like, no, I don't want to. This sucks. I don't want to play this game. Here we got the third eye clarity. What is this third eye clarity spirit for Taurus? You seem just what this person's about, Taurus. Bandwagoning ass. But this person likes to get on everybody's success train. But they don't want to get on their own. They, for some reason, always run out of gas off on their train. They ain't never got the gas, the Petro, to, to do what they need to do, Taurus. And at the bottom of the deck, look. Again, the devil in the reverse. Taurus. Underneath that, the Six of Wands, Six of Pentacles in the reverse. Look at that. you releasing all this. Attention-ass whore, attention-ass men whore, girl whore, somebody that just doesn't like to share. They like to be very selfish with you too, Taurus. But they be out there giving to, they give their, their, their body to whomever. But they don't want you doing that, Taurus, see? They won't give you anything off their back, but you better give yours to them, okay? You use your intuition, Taurus, and you got the clarity you needed. This is the third eye here. You got the clarity you needed to see just how unstable this person really is. You made a decision, Taurus. You've you, 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 you fallen you, you fallen out of this. This is not what you thought it was. You're like, man, I had to get away from that situation just to see. Yes, Taurus, you did. You did to see this ace of, 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 of swords here. Clarity, truth, honesty. 
Like I said at the beginning, I love honesty. It, it is bitter at times. And I think Taurus, this was hard for you to deal with. I'm not going to sit there and take that lightly. But this person's karma is a sit and see you leaving their toxic ass behind. Okay? Seeing them for who the fuck they are. No longer investing in the soul tie reunion with somebody or trying to... to you're so used to reuniting with this person towards all the time in the past. This person always is sitting back, just waiting for you to message. Hey, how you doing? I hope you're not mad at me. Ooh, yep, I thought so. I got it. No, you fucking don't. You don't. Towards whether this is you or the person that you're dealing with. But I see Leo here. I see a lot of Earth. Okay, you, Taurus Virgo Capricorn. I see some fire. Leo Aries Sag, and I see some Gemini Libra Aquarius. Yeah, and then here's a Gemini too anyway, right next to it. Right next to the uh, Five of Swords. But, um, yeah, Taurus, they're not victorious in what they were trying to do here. I think somebody was trying to get their way and trying to have all they wanted, Taurus. But you using your intuition brought you big-time clarity. Look how big the sword is. Look what's on the top of it. Bam. Accomplished. I got the clarity I needed. You waited for this person towards to come bring you closure. They're not gonna come bring you closure. They need you must they need you to be confused as much as they as they can possibly keep you confused. That is the whole point here. If you're not confused, it's not fun to this person. If you're not feeling that lack like they feel, it's not fun anymore. Okay? It's not fun to them. Yep. Now towards you're going towards family home and commitment. This is this person's karma, watching you do these things. Watching you go towards another commitment where there's actually a tie that just might be the one that is meant for you. Okay, because I think you and someone else are going to be vibing on a whole new level. Taurus, when you start getting that reciprocity in that you're so trying work so hard to work for and busting your damn head open to get. Okay, once you get that and you feel how it just flows naturally back to you, you're going to love it. You're going to love it, Taurus. You're going to love it. Nothing's going to stop you this time. Nothing. Look, action, courage, beginnings. Taking action on these new beginnings, Taurus. This new thing you got going on, Taurus, you starting something brand new. And you had to light your own damn torch. See, this person used to light it for you halfway and then burn it out whenever they get ready. I'm tired of you. You're making me mad. Out. And then you'd be stuck in the dark. You'd be in the dark, Taurus. What the fuck I do now? Why is, why is this person not... Why is their energy shifting so much? Like, what? Why are they acting so funny? Uh, what? 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 This feels like a, a bit of a narcissistic traits type of individual. But anyway, you got action. You're taking towards family. Sorry, guys, I had it in reverse. Family, home, and commitment. You want that towards. You want a family. You want a home, a stable home, a loving home, a committed home. This person can't provide that. Okay. There's things that often happen when we get inside situationships. I'm going to call this exactly what I'm seeing it as, a situationship. There is an exchange here. And somebody got confused about, well, we always reunite. That means we twin flame. We meant to be together. You ain't going nowhere. Okay, if you want to believe that, then fine. But everybody has free will, as you know. And I feel that this person here would like to sit there and play on your emotions to get a reunion, to get something to come out of you, to get something to gain. And the whole time you're trying to reach this peak with them, okay? But they weren't reciprocating that. They would talk that good talk, okay? Well, it was nice hearing you say it, but again, you just gave me good brain and then you just, what? Who are you? What's going on? Who is in your energy? You probably weren't asking that then, Taurus, because you just love you. I'm not saying you just don't give a damn about this person more. You want them to get ran over. No. But you you know how now when enough is enough. Your life is passing you by every five seconds. It's passing by just a little bit. And the more you sit there contemplating on, hmm, should I or should I not? The more time you're wasting. This person, I just know. No, no, no. Yeah. You need to reopen. You need to open up and receive the blessings you have coming to us because they are grand they're grand blessings. Yep. And the whole time while you've been going through the situation, you've been opening up yourself, old wounds, childhood trauma, things like that. And this person also has the same thing, which may be the reason why you guys bonded and feel so close and tied. But um, I'm not feeling that energy. I'm feeling more like somebody just needs to go find their own horse to, to get on, their own train. 
their own box car, whatever you want to call that. They, they seem to want to come back into your life, Taurus, and they're coming fast. Trust me, they're coming fast. Yeah, your epiphany and your breakthrough, you breaking through all those chains, breaking them off and stuff, getting away from this shit, okay? This person is sick about it. They don't know what to do. Taurus, this is their karma. Money's not looking right for them either, Taurus. I don't give a damn what they tell you. I don't give a damn what you see on, on social media. If you are spying on this person, I would ask you and advise you to please stop, Taurus. Okay? Because you're giving this person the energy that they want. Even though it's not what they exactly what they want. They want everything like it used to be. But Taurus, if you really are done with somebody like this, you need to really, really be leaving them alone. Because when you have breakthroughs and stuff, you get to a certain age in your life and you become more aware of what you want, what you truly want, what really matters. Not no booty clap shaking and shit like that. No. Okay, they do matter. Booty clap, chat, booty clap chat, uh, smacking together do matter. <laughs> no homo here. I'm just saying, man. Moms can clap a pretty good amount. So I'd be like, hey, clap and boo. Shoot. I love when I see a woman out there being confident. I see a little booty bouncing into her pants. I'm like, yeah, girl, you know what you're doing. It makes her feel confident. They ain't short shorts. Nope, I don't be seeing that. Lately, I've been seeing a lot of ladies respecting their bodies. And they know how to put on a whole entire bodysuit and still look, <laughs> still look banging like some cheesecake. They still look good, okay? So don't get me started. I'm giving props where it's due. Ladies, do your thing, boo. Do your thing. Men, do your thing, too. Put on that nice little haircut. Go on ahead and smell good. Get up in that shower. Put on some, put on, you know, and that's the thing about Taurus is, you know, my, my baby, he, he's uh, my Taurus. He's very natural. He don't like cologne and stuff. And I'm so grateful because I get to smell his naturalness. I love it. And no, it's not stinky, funky type. I sniff at the top of his forehead all the time by his hairline. And that is the most beautiful signature of someone. Smell their forehead. Not too many people pay attention to that forehead. Rinsing it, washing it all the time, scrubbing it and stuff like that. Let me go ahead and get this off. No. Smell someone's forehead right there at the top by the temple, right there next to their hairline and a little bit down. And just kiss their, kiss their forehead and sniff and... Mm. Mm -mm -mm. that's my baby man i just it's, it's it's very nice i just i don't know i like the natural smell of him it's beautiful it smells literally you guys like earth earthy tones with a bit of uh with a bit of lavender he's just he just he's it's natural I, oof, let me just stop let me stop first i go from booty clapping to freaking natural smell okay stop lauren stop 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 okay and that's what I'm doing. Okay, so let's go now. Taurus, this is their this is their uh their karma, my loves. And this is what they're gonna be facing. And there's no there's look. See, somebody wants to come and take everything you got, Taurus. They don't like that they don't have abundance with a dishonest ass. They just they wanna come in and they wanna see what you got going. They just wanna see what everything you got, Taurus. This person not being a part of your business is kicking their ass. They need to know everything about you. They need to know the money you're making. How many times did you flush the toilet that day? I mean, yeah, but you're no longer feeling the regret, Taurus. You used to feel regretful for this person being lonely and sad and this and that, Taurus. You felt like, dang, I really left somebody behind, you know? Maybe I need to go back. Uh, Taurus, <laughs> do you remember? Okay, you don't let my Jackson remind you guys. Do you remember how it all begin. Look at that. <laughs> See? Tied to the damn devil. Tied down to toxicity. You're no longer regretting that shit. You're getting out of it. You're coming out of that energy of feeling stuck and bound and all that. No. Look at these cards. Look how the colors mesh well. This is crazy, Tor. 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 It is. Yeah. You don't. You, look. Look at this, Tor. It's the bottom of the deck. That beautiful purpose. Courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Taurus, you're confident now. This person's not that they they would push their they would push their um, ill confidence onto you. Their lack of, okay. 
you're finding the confidence because you're having a breakthrough. You're taking action and new beginnings toward a family home, real commitment, opening and receiving it and letting that child and inner, that inner child and those, those wounds heal. And if you, if you Tauruses out there have children, you're making sure your children don't have to go through the same thing you went through as a child. I'm hearing that. Yeah, and somebody's pride here is just too big, you know, too big. Yeah. See, what did I say at the beginning? I said, be careful with that ego and shit. That pride and stuff don't, ego and pride and all that does not go relationships. I am mistakenly pulled both cards up and then there's pride. But look what's up, look what's before, after courage. Relationships in the reverse. That there's somebody having too much pride here has caused a relationship to go. But you like, you know, that pride, that chip you got on your shoulder. Thanks for giving me some of that because it, it catapulted me into this. That's what it did. It basically threw me into my healing, like I said before. Yeah, this person's fearful, Taurus. If you find someone else, they're fearful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're not peaceful. They're not at peace right now, Taurus. They're very, very, very frightened. Not frightened, but, you know, yeah, and they're not successful. Whatever this person thought that they were going towards, okay, Taurus? Somebody here thought that they were going towards something way better than you. And then while they were doing way better, that while they were going towards somebody way better than you, they thought you were going to come running. You know, remember? The mind farts. This is what they're doing. They're trying to give you these, these illusions and stuff. Okay? But now they're illusioned and in confusion because you have not come scratching their booty. You have not come scratching it. You know? You're trying to get stable, okay? You know, you're healing your inner child. Okay, I think you feel happy again, Taurus. I think you feel fresh. This is this person's karma, feeling fearful, not in peace, and not feeling success because this is what they try to they try to push onto you, Taurus. They try to. They try to. But you're no longer regretting getting unbound from this person, Taurus. You're no longer regretting leaving the toxicity behind. You used to have a big fear yourself, Taurus. But I think that you've had a breakthrough here from that shit. I think you have broken free from this toxic individual. And Taurus, may I add and say, I am so fucking proud of you, my friend. Of you. Go ahead, stand up, Taurus. Who cares who's around you? Stand up, okay? Just act like you're looking at somebody's, something of someone's, okay? The floor or something. And just stand up and be like, thank you, God. I appreciate this. This person was never thankful to you, Taurus, for you giving all that energy and all that love into them. They did not care at the time. <laughs> This person gives several cares now, I'm telling you. I think that mirror is almost broken, too. This ego and pride and vanity shit. I think they're just tired of looking at themselves. Okay? Because they put you in this Taurus for a very long time. And so their karma is to be right. It comes right back to you. This person wanted to keep you bound. Okay? And while you're moving on and getting out of this toxicity, and this, this, is, this, is your, this, is their, this is your good karma... And this is their, they don't see it as that good because they, they got to still continue to heal. They got a lot of things they got to get done. But you see the truth. You see the truth for what things really are. And you're keeping it to yourself now. You used to Taurus wake up late at night or just walk around the house or just sit around and wonder why this person hasn't reached out and apologized. Because Taurus, they're playing what? Mind games. Okay? Remember Taurus. Mind games is the name of their game, okay? Mind games is the name of their game. I was about to say that rhymes. Nah, bitch, that is a match to a word. <laughs> yeah, don't mind me. Anywho, yeah, this is absolutely beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. You're not speaking to this person right now, Taurus. And you would think that they're cold as ice. They don't even know who you are. Yeah, they do. Oh, yeah, they do. They know exactly when you switch that... That social media picture, they know exactly when you went out on that date or when you went, went out with the homies. They see it all over the place. Okay, they see it. Their karma, Taurus, is for them hurt, for them hurting you. It's to be fearful and not be have no peace. They don't have peace right now, Taurus. And they're not successful. I mean, a lot of people, well, why would you be so excited because they're not successful? It's not because I'm excited because they're not successful. It's because they wanted to bring you down with them. They didn't want to put in no goddamn legwork. They kept running around looking at pretty things and, oh, yay, like it's a, a, a rattle. Like, what are those, what do they call them kids' things? Um, a rattler, I think, or something. You know, one of those things where kids, babies play with them and it's like a rattle. Okay, I think that's what it's called. Whatever, Lauren, stop. Anywho, you know, this person's not successful and they want your attention badly. Because they feel that's going to bring all this shit back to the, 
to the surf. They're going to be happy. I get to just do what I want again. Hey, Taurus felt, you know, the first couple weeks, you should all maybe even give it a month. They're going to be on the straight and narrow. And before you know it, it's going to go downhill yet again. Because this person's going to see just exactly what kind of shit they're able to do to you and get away with. You're going towards your wish fulfillment. Fulfillment wish. You've been wishing towards for a stable environment. You've been wishing towards to get out of confusion and get out of mind farts and things like that. To get unhinged from the devil. Well, Taurus, here's your time. You have your own clarity. You don't need anyone else's. And you're going to do just fine with that, Taurus. You don't need anybody else telling you how you should live or how you should feel about yourself. Yeah, somebody's getting very impatient, Taurus. Somebody does not like the fact that you are not coming around. <laughs> Taurus. Page of Pentacles. Somebody wants you to come and apologize to them? Because you're not sad, Taurus. Ooh, somebody has the audacity. Yeah, you're in something else. You're looking for something new. Let me see. Yeah, you'll be denying their cup once they make that offer, Taurus. This person wants you to come make them an offer. In fact, this person has many options just as well as you do, Taurus. They just don't want none of them options. They want you. They want you. Look at this. this. Somebody's being impatient, waiting for you to come back and apologize to them, Taurus. Okay? You owe them the apology. All right? You know, you're no longer sad. You're coming out of it. And now this person's actually very depressed. You know, and I don't mean in a way where they're just going to hurt themselves. But I feel like they're more like sitting around like, how the hell did I ruin such a good thing? Like, you know, how did I ruin such a good thing when all they did was give me this and all I gave them in return was this? That's not even the same. That's not even the matching energy. That's that's bullshit. That, that's two opposite energies. People, opposites attract. No, they don't. Not all the time. No, hell no. What the hell does this look like, you guys? Here you are, Taurus, Ace of Cups. Nurturing, loving, caring, kind. My cup runneth over for you, my love. Mine's too. I can't wait for that jet ski to get here so we can go out and have some good old fun for the kids start school again. Oh, you're my one and only. Oh, this is your P-U-S-S-Y. Oh, this is your D-I-C-K. Oh, yeah, 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 It's all yours. Mind games. Oh, I can't wait till we have our new baby. Oh, it's going to look like you. It's going to look like daddy. It's going to look like mama. No, man. Get out of here with that. Sorry, spirit. I mean. I know many of you are like, Lauren, calm down. But look, when I get up in my energies, okay, mind your business. Me and my spirit guys connecting. And the most for straightforward messages is what they're going to give me. And I'm going to read them. I'm going to read them accordingly. Hey, call me what you want. People are like, oh, why is your channel so sour? Oh, why are you here? You can't handle Sour Patch Kids to get out. Because that's exactly, that's exactly what I am. I'm a Sour Patch Kid. Okay, that's what I am. <laughs> First I'm sour, then I'm sweet. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. Mm, yeah, this person's not at peace. Taurus, my loves. This is their karma. This is karma. I don't care. Y'all can sit there and sit all day, all day and say, oh, no, no, they're not getting their karma, please. Taurus, at one point you thought this person was dedicated to you. Now, hey, looks can be deceiving. So it makes you think this person's having a great, great jolly time and ain't paying for a damn thing. They're paying for it, all right. Yeah. That is what they're trying to paint, this illusion of confusions yet again. Just because they ain't around you, you think they all happy. No, Taurus. You, you made this person see what love could be. Okay? If they decide to take the plunge, that's on them. But I don't think this person's ready. I think they got too much going on. I think they're so insecure because they see you stable and happy. And they want to come in and they want to wreck stuff. Like, they just want to come in and, and, you, and, and, and put their... Put their BS, you know, conversations and things onto you. And it makes you carry burden, Taurus. That's what it does. I wish it would do something else for you. But it doesn't. It doesn't, my loves. Okay, Taurus. I love you guys so very much, my dear doll faces. Okay. Mm -hmm. I sure do, Taurus. Who told y'all to love y'all? They a lie. They a lie. They a lie. Don't listen to them, Taurus. Check them haters out. Shake them haters off. You ever heard that song, guys? <laughs> Fate. Something was meant to be split in half. Light the dark. Light the dark. I think you're dealing with someone quite dark, Taurus. Somebody that just is kind of spiteful and hateful, and they just like to say the rudest things. In your mind, you're like, how could you say that about me? 
but I still love you. Okay, I still do. Towards okay, I, I get, I get. That's that's how you are as a person. But stop letting people run you the fuck over. They don't have that right. Don't give that to them. They do not have that right to just come up in your life and come up in your bubble and do your aura and say, I'm going to do this and you're going to not do nothing. Now what you think? Nah, Taurus. Now you're starting to see your worth. Your true, complete worth, Taurus. Very much so. I don't even know why I bought this. I didn't even use it. Thank you guys for joining the channel, my loves. Please look down in the description box for any other information. Mwah, mwah. Have a productive week and happy Monday. Bye, Taurus.